Hello everyone, this is Whitehawk and welcome back to Pony Fantasy 6. Last time we entered the Phantom Train thanks to the silly pony that is Luna. And now we're gonna try to proceed to the front end of this train. I wonder if anything bad will happen once we get to it. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we, we got a ghost on our team last episode, but apparently these ghosts, they try to attack us. And they're the same ghosts from the forest, which means they only give 12 experience points. That is, well actually, yeah, now we have a fourth member, so the experience points are split up even further. Oh, and this, well, this ghost seems to be nice. <laughs> we do actually need some red deliciouses right now. I'm going to take quite a lot. Uh, 26 should be enough. Uh, we have six new sounds. We'll get some shurikens, and we'll get into a random fight. Uh, I don't know if any of you might have noticed, but uh, I got my Porta Boot Plus today. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be doing much to change out the uh, ghost ghost going to the right each other. It doesn't seem to be changing much when it comes to the. Uh, quality of uh, my recordings, unfortunately. And uh, it's as I suspected, this is largely because of uh, how big the room I am in is. And because of that, uh, we can't, uh, I can't really improve the quality of my recordings. I, I have thought about moving the, my computer into my another room that is smaller, but I'm not sure if it will actually improve anything or not. Plus, uh, there won't be enough space to connect my uh, Wii U and record the footage from that unless I move it back to the other room, so... We're gonna have to stick to this type of quality of recordings for now on. Maybe one day I'll move out to another home and we'll be able to change some things then. I'm gonna ignore the ghosts. get to the end of this train. Last time we had lots and lots of cutscenes, which meant lots and lots of uh, voice acting for me, but here there's not going to be quite as many. We can go up here, and we can then drop down this hatch, which just drops us back in the middle of this cart. What a pointless optional thing to do. Here we go. down. Oh, a new enemy. The Hazer, I believe. Also, those ghosts, they're taking damage. But what it was supposed to be is they're, they're actually they're supposed to have like some type of regen effect on to re regenerate their health. But because they're undead, they're, they take damage from the effect instead. I think, it, I think that's what it is. I'm not too sure. It's been a long time since I've looked up stuff for this game. Hey. No escape. Well, apparently we can just beat you up, so... How can a ghost block uh, an entry away anyway? They're supposed to be transparent, aren't they? And why is it that one of them want to help, wants to help us? Ha! That was too easy! No escape. What in tarnation? No escape. Who's there? This way, y'all! No escape. Whoa, Nelly! No escape. Shoot! You can't escape. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Well, we can go up here. You can't escape. Nowhere to hide. Yeah, you guys, uh, stop repeating yourselves. They're a right big person, Nicotty. It's a dead end! Your choice of words are ironic, AJ, but fear not! Y'all got a plan? Indeed. It is time to demonstrate the results of our training. Come, Applejack! Huzzah! Jump! Jump! Why can't you just fly, Lulu? And you screwed that up. Well, we're out of here, and we can't go back into this card. 
Uh, I believe uh, uh, we actually ended at the segment uh, where the ghost, blo the ghost blocked off our passage uh, a bit early because we were supposed to look around the cart and uh, then we suddenly realized that we were stuck here. I think we might have missed the treasure chest, honestly. Uh-oh. Hey. Uh-oh. They're a ripe bit person in the We have to detach the rear train cars. Just like here. Bye bye, ghosts! Except for the one that joined us, he can stay. He can punch some things. Can't follow us now. I think. Incidentally, this switch also opens this gate. How coincidental. Uh. Hmm. Well. A delicious on Hulu. And that's pretty much it. Let's proceed further into the train. Overmines. Whoa, they got big sprites. That must mean it must be very tough. Does it, doesn't it? Not so. Uh oh. Well, that causes confusion. Fortunately, the ghost isn't all that powerful. Now, if he had a confused Applejack, then we'd be in trouble. Seat further down. Oh, we can go up here now. Which doesn't lead to anything. I do like these little optional uh, passages and... Uh, uh, goodness. These optional nuggets of uh, exploration. Oh, goodness. Demi, I hate this spell. It cuts our HP in half, basically. Which means we have to heal a lot. In case, some of you, in case some of you are wondering why these spikes are so easy, it's because it's possible It's possible to actually do these, uh, seg this segment using only uh, AJ and Lulu. Flutz and uh, the ghost here are completely optional. Oh, this looks nice. Wait, why can't we do this scene with AJ? Ah, stupid script. Let us forget our present predicament for a moment. Waiter, bring us a bright and glorious feast. Thank you, Mr. Ghost. At least some of you are civilized. But, but isn't this, you know, ghost food? Your apprehension, your apprehension is unwarranted. Come, dine with us. Well, shoot, you gotta admit this is at least a bit weird. HP and magic be recovered, and status ailments like poison cured. So this this is basically uh, the same, roughly the same effect as an in all things considered. Why, thank you. I ought to tip that guy, ghost, dude. Very good. Our appetite has been sated for the moment. Let us proceed. Please order at the table. Can't you guys get out of the way so that I can get that treasure chest? No. Guess I'll go the long way then. Uh, another random fight. Stab. Atsu. Shisho. Okay, uh, Ghost Dude, I'm gonna explain something you can do. You can possess something. It's basically an instant kill at the cost of uh, us using him. But I, if we go back all the way... Uh, actually, if we could back, go back all the way to the back train, we could uh, get him again. Of course, we've uh, detached the rear train, so we can't really get him back if we lose him. Oh, it's basically a kamikaze, a kamikaze attack. Oh wait, I almost forgot about the treasure chest. Received earrings. Hmm, it's gonna we have to give that to Trixie. Bombs? You want them? They're yours, my friend. As long as you have enough. Oh. Well, that didn't do that much damage. Demi does more damage than that. Sheesh. Hmm. Not much here. St 
stop where you are! I am Daring Do, the world's greatest archaeologist! That treasure chest is mine! If I were you, princess, I'd grab cowgirl here and run! There's four of us here, lady. We are not impressed! Aha! The ox bellows! Allow me to introduce my whip! Oh, it's a surprise boss fight. Daring do. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna say anything here. <laughs> yeah, I think she was gonna do like 10 attacks, but since uh, AG has counter, she just kills her instantly. It's basically a joke fight, yeah. Tom might consider a different profession. Impossible! I... I'm the greatest, but I'll still laugh last. Really? <laughs> this treasure is mine! The talk, cretins! Wow, Daring Do is kind of a jerk in this uh, uh, ROM hack universe. And again, she's not all that better much in the show. Especially now that she's real. Thanks a lot, Dave Polsky. Sheesh. <laughs> That fight took a lot longer than it should have. The more of delicious. And we're gonna go in here. Wanna stop the train? Just use the controls in the engineer's compartment. What are you doing here anyway? Can we like uh, attach the rear trains along with you and them? Here. Nothing here. Here. Oh, four treasure chests. We got a oh, monster in a box. Well, let's see. It's a specter. A pellet swap of a whisper. Doesn't have any counters. At least as far as I know. Maybe he has a desperation attack. Or a death attack. He you and Jin, AJ. Ow, that hurt him. Seems he has lots of HP. At least five times as much as the... Uh, well, not that much HP, but five times as much as... Uh, we got a Bionic Hoof, actually. Which... Enhances strength by 50%. Hmm. And actually... Yeah, Lulu already has the horseshoe, so... AJ, you're getting the Bionic Hoof. Now she hits a whole lot harder. Receive a phoenix down, a monocle, and another phoenix down. Monocle, what does that do? Range. Ignore target's ability to dodge. Works for magic, too. Hmm. Guess I'll give it to... No, push R is already full. What is... Do that with a monocle is really good. It would be really neat, actually. Wow, that's all the Starbow does? Get that, I'm giving a uh, Luna and Monaco. I suppose that someone already drew fan art of uh, Luna with a Monaco, but if if uh, no one has, someone do it. Oh, and unfortunately, the go our ghost fan has to be leave us now. Shall we be off? Bye bye. Guess we're on our own now. Oh, there's three of us. We're not really all that, uh... Three's a crowd, anyway. But yeah, it's kind of a... a bit, it's a bit jarring how, uh... Flood, Flourish Eye is pretty much ignored in all the cutscenes. In modern games, this would be a... This would be a lot more jarring, all things considered. One of the advantages of the 
old games is that they don't have to respect the they don't have to adhere to to logic as much as the uh, modern games do. We get a save point. Save. Very important to save here, especially if this is your first time playing this game. Huh. Oh no, I'm thinking of something else. All things considered, because I, I was expecting a certain puzzle within the cards, but I'm thinking of a much later segment in this game. Something's written here. What? What? To stop the train, shut the first and third pressure valves, and not break the switch outside near the smokestack. So yeah, if you want to figure out this puzzle, you gotta read this. You know, this completely invisible parchment of uh, information that no one pretty much ever finds because uh, it's pretty much invisible. Otherwise, you're gonna have to test around. Press the switch and the train will stop. It wasn't going to be that easy, of course. Phantom Train. So, you've been slowing my progress. Time for a boss fight. Okay, first things first. In Final Fantasy VI Vanilla, you can instantly kill this boss with a Phoenix Town. But the guy who uh, made this game, this ROM hack, he changed it so that it no longer works. Also, uh, he berserked Applejack. Dang! Wait, what am I doing? Actually, it's Lulu who can do it. Also, Applejack can also do it, but I wanted to use Applejack as a thing. Let's throw a shuriken. Oh, goodness, wheel. I hate that. Anyway! Let's throw the shuriken. And then, this is pretty much mandatory for all playthroughs of Final Fantasy VI. Suplexing the train. If you ever play this game, don't forget to do that. Oh goodness. Fail, thankfully. I'm gonna start healing now. Is it Macintosh? Oh goodness! Thank thankfully I used it on uh, Lulu. Seriously? Again? Sheesh. And an axe ring. This boss is a whole lot tougher. Also, in case some of you haven't noticed, uh, we're constantly running from this boss, too. Seriously? He counters with raid everything we throw at him! That is cheap. Well, I guess we're focusing on healing now. Oh, goodness. Macintosh. Yeah, so this is a whole lot tougher from the, the vanilla Phantom Train fight because uh, you can just use the Phoenix Town to kill this guy instantly. Not so in this fight. Where's the Elixirs? Why did I use on her whatever? Scarby. Oh, for forget it. Let's just try to beat him right now. Show him you can! Come on, Duna! Uh, too bad. Well, so much for being this guy on our first attempt. He got buffed a lot more than I expected. Let's try this again. Alright, Phantom Train, I'm onto your game. Countering everything with raid? Seriously? That is so cheap. Suplex. Okay, I'm gonna leave a, a probably Fluttershy on healing duty. Oh goodness, steam pressure is rising, really? Well, that that would have helped a lot earlier, but he berserked uh, Fluttershy is the thing. I mean, he, he berserked Applejack. That's I couldn't use any Bushido. So, uh, Applejack was on constant back duty, and because of that, he countered every time uh, with the uh, raid, which is a high effectiveness rate. As presented here. Hmm. Goodness, that attack does lots of damage. I'm gonna heal that push actually. 
Thank you. Really? Phoenix down, please. So, I'm guessing Applejack is pretty much the source of how you could beat this boss. Here's the thing, though. We can fight this boss by using only Applejack and uh, Luna. So, I don't know why they buffed uh, this... Oh, goodness gracious. Are you serious? I have to heal a whole lot now. And, oh, jeez. Such a waste. There's an elixir on Applejack. Too late. Okay, hopefully Apple Jack will actually defeat this guy before it's too late, but... Sheesh. And now it is too late! Because of this stupid attack! It, it targets us all! Come on, Fluttershy, you can do something here. Oh! So he was like roughly a few hundred HP uh, from debt, and uh, only Fluttershy will get all the XP now. That's too bad. Oh, actually, there's no XP. Oh well. I will let you go, but first, there is something I must do. So yeah, that wasn't too bad of a boss fight, but I don't like it when uh, it's basically Final Fantasy VI wasn't all that uh, great when it. It's not all that great for when it comes to reviving characters that are died in battle. Because, especially when the boss is so tough that uh, it constantly uh, kills all the characters. Because uh, if the boss attacks twice in a row, especially if one of the attacks is a uh, target everyone, it's pretty much impossible to revive anyone. You constantly have to heal over and over. What is this spooky place? Huzzah! We have departed! Clearly, we should not linger here. Time for some drama. No! Betty! Fritter! Applejack, is that thy family? Departing? Y'all don't have to go! Come back! Aunt Betty! Aunt Fritter! I'm so sorry, Applejack, but there ain't no getting off this train. AJ, it's okay. Mom says we'll be fine. Yeah, in the original, uh, Cyan, the character AJ's replacing, uh, it's his wife and his child that he lost. Of course, uh, apparently uh, Applejack can't be in a relationship that way, though, so uh, it was changed to aunt, her aunt and uh, the aunt's son, something like that. Oh, and we can move as Lulu here. The last time one of my little animal friends took the train, I cried for days. I can't imagine how she feels right now. Well, we missed out on whatever Applejack wanted to say, because it's uh, time-based. So we're finally done with this segment. Let's proceed down further. Goodness gracious, I really don't think I'll be able to finish Lulu's segment anytime soon, but still. Going over here. Oh, goodness! <laughs> I was expecting everything to be healed, everyone to be healed up, but no, apparently I've got to do it myself. Also, I can hear you, some of you screaming right now. I know, I should save. There. All better, right? The next boss fight shouldn't really be all that tough, even though, even though Flesh is leaving, don't worry. Unless they buffed this too. Surely this must be Baron Falls that lies before us. Built just the stone throws out to the south. Powerful critters all over the place there. And the Empire is no doubt pursuing us still. Wait, pursuing us still? Typo! If we can mosey through the belt with our casters intact, we can get to Ponyville in the east. 
Um, I should go. I mean, that's okay. We must thank thee, dear Fluttershy. We would welcome thy company anytime. Bye, Fluttershy. That doesn't make much sense for Fluttershy to leave us because uh, she really doesn't have much reason to leave us. Shadow, I, he was a uh, get a better personality that fit that, but Fluttershy, not so much. Let's jump. Yeehaw! Come on, gotta make this all great. Don't do this. Don't do this at home, kids. Of course, we have to have some random battles during this segment. Piranhas and Rhizopus? I don't remember that many of them appearing by the way. They look like sharks too. I guess to make to add to the drama, I guess. It'd be nice if they would be attacking oh goodness, really? Some of them can cast ice. Yeah, if they attack Applejack, Applejack uh, has a better chance to counter them. Oh, it's the one in the center that is uh, stronger. So I guess that's a... Uh, this one. Yeah. Come on, Applejack. Okay, that thing has, uh, probably has lots of HP. Hmm. We are running out of healing items. Thankfully, after this segment, uh, the items won't matter that much after. El Nino? Oh, it's Agua Breath. Something like that. What? Oh my, oh my goodness. Good job, Lulu. You saved us all. I wasn't expecting that to do that much damage. Wow. And once again, experience points don't matter in these boss fights. So none of the boss fights have uh, experience points uh, into uh, uh None of the boss fights have experience points, period. And this scene is kind of really fitting, considering you barely survived that. Applejack is wounded, of course. Oh, the character teams in this game is uh, very good. Are very good. This one's uh, also one of my favorites. A precocious pink party pony who loves making others smile, even when she has nothing to smile about herself. Thank you. And time and name is? Hmm, she has nothing to say. I guess she did. <gasps> and then ran away. Okay, let's see if the... Where is the sleeping bag? Did I not? Oh, I heard you have sleeping bags, thankfully. Oh, it doesn't work. So we're down to three Phoenix Downs. There, fully healed. Save. There. And we have enough time to finish the segment of the uh, Lulu uh, completely. Counter hit. Yes, I love it when my characters counter hit. Anyway, uh, also, uh, this is the Velt. In this segment, we fight all the monsters from all over the, uh, that we have ever fought before. It's basically, uh, it's basically an area that was specifically made for, uh, Go slash Pinky. So that she can learn uh, all the abilities of the different monsters. Uh, from what I've heard, is that I, I don't think it's a glitch, but there, there are some uh, means that allow. Wait, what? Did he just kill himself? Well, I guess not. There are some means that allow players to. I think it was in the advanced version of Final Fantasy VI that allows players to like fight bosses too, and apparently the final boss can be included. Kind of crazy. Really? You know what? I just want to run away. Bye. These monsters don't give any experience points anyway. And we are at Ponyvale. It came via Baron Falls? Unbelievable! It's flowing like there's no tomorrow! 
Thank you, Octavia. What about you? Only carrier pigeons link our village to the outside. Nice hat, lady. Wait, you're a palette swap of Applejack! Silly pony. You stop by the house up in the far north? The Stalin there is a tad psycho. Drew his own kid out, thinking it was a monster. Letters tell us that war has broken out. You guys have it easy, to be honest. This region is called the Belt. Monsters from all over the world migrate here. And never leave. Let's change our equipment. It's been a while. We have lots to buy. And lots to equip. Out hunting, I noticed a kid running with a herd of beasts. Her parents know where she is? Yeah, so basically, there's only one thing we really have to do in this area. It's gonna be clear after I do something, I'm just gonna check everyone's, uh, whatever they have to say. Keep your voices down. The soldier in here is hurt pretty bad. Some soldier wandered here, busted up pretty bad too. Doesn't look good. Only the letters coming from the town of Merenda are keeping them going. What are you doing out here anyway? Are you trying to hide from uh, these people? Ponies? I used to be a soldier of the Empire, but then I took a narrow... Seriously? Oh my goodness. This... I imagine back... No, no, there is no excuse. This, this reference, this is too much. I can't get used to the Imperial Troopers walking the streets of Miranda, but otherwise things are okay. Flowers are blooming in the garden. Tell them Miss Green is here. How are you doing? I'm so worried. I wish I could fly to your side. Rest and know that I think about you constantly. Come back to me. I like to write her back, but I can't even pick up a quill. Uh, pretty sure. I think there's a, a optional side quest you can do with this guy, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. It, it, it shouldn't matter that much anyway, because uh, you don't really get any reward out of this. But it makes sense, a lot of sense for Applejack to be doing the reading. Just, just gonna say that right now. Postage to Miranda is 500 GP. Ah, uh, this must be it. Yeah, I gotta send a letter. And we got another elixir. What's down here? Hmm. The entrance to the Serpent Trench is south of Crescent Mountain. And there is nothing here. Really? You're gonna block the staircase, um, stupid... Uh... Some ponies are just rude. Some occurrence run to the Serpent Trench. Yes. Oh, it's Lyra and Bonbon. Bon. I wonder what they're staring into each other like that for. Lyra and Bonbon bon are both 16 and in love. What about... Wh wh what do you mean, they're both 16? Pretty sure ponies, uh... That means they're pretty old in, uh... Horse age. Accessories. White cake. What does that do? Blocks. Screen. Mute. Mm, not all that useful. At least as far as I know. Yeah, so there's no point to go into the inn because you can just sleep in this bed. Anyway, this is a pretty nice town. Hopefully nothing bad will happen to it. Ever. You know. Maybe. Uh, go back here. Yeah, that was a fast delivery. Must have been by uh, some pony that was really good. I can't find your favorite record. I thought I'd play it and you'd be with me, but... I'd give Lola everything, if I only I could move.
Yeah, yeah. Send a record. We still got lots of money. Yeah, I think it's this team right here. I want to get better! I want to see Lola! Uh, I think that's it, actually. I think that, that's pretty much the end of this side quest, at least for now. Yep, that's pretty much it. Okay. I'm gonna go over here. I threw a cupcake into a herd of hungry animals, and some kid emerged and grabbed it. That's pretty much your hint to what you actually have to do. So sweet and tasty. I guess I'll buy a few more just in case. Well, that was a pretty long segment of the game where we had to explore it in this village, but... Well, I suppose I'll check out what's inside the inn. See? Not even much. Alright, let's go recruit ourselves a wild pony. Just gotta get a random battle. Uh, get a spirit for them. Defeat them all! Hey, I'm the one who's supposed to have a counter. Here we go. Hi, I'm Pinkie Pie. Sure you are. Oh, I'm hungry. Here, have a cupcake, Pinkie. Mm -hmm. What in tarnation? I'm Applejack, and this here is Princess Luna. So this this is one of the rare segments where Princess Luna is a uh, full title is actually used in it. It's not the parser that's uh, used for naming her. Do you have any more of that mushy stuff? Nay, child, one is the limit. But there's one right there. Thou art a greedy one. No, I'm the hungry one. Thou shalt stand down. How can I stand without him down? Thou art infuriating! And... I guess this is uh, the developer's ship. Luna slash Pinkie Pie? No, not really. Thai Alakriti is unmirable! Whee! You're a quickie! Quickie, really? <laughs> You're a good dancer! Be still! Calm down, every pony. Why don't y'all tell us your name? <laughs> y'all, 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 y'all. Come on, every pony, let's dance. Dance, 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 dance. Dance, 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 dance. Dance, 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 dance. She is not in the mood for such useless revelry. I'm so sorry, I'm just so excited. It's okay, Sugar Cube. Pinky, y'all sure seem happy to see some friendly faces. Why don't you join us? Ooh, you know what this calls for? A party! And I've got the perfect present. A present? Of what possible sort? Pinkie Pie always gives the best gifts. Shiny, pretty, fancy. Fancy? Come on, every pony likes to party, don't they? We should not be indulging ourselves. Hmm. We wonder what Bloom would stink would stink of all of this. Who's Bloom? Is she nice? Maybe she likes to party too. Bloom? Well, she is. Are Tom even listening? I think she's trying to hurry us along. Hmm. Very well. Carry on. This way! Just a few smidge meters to the south. Lulu? We could play pin the tail on donkey. And AJ, I bet you pitch a mean game of horseshoes. 
can have a party at the old rock farm. It'll be so much fun! Look, we're plumb out of ideas, and we have to find a way to niche. Let's go with her. Pinkie Pie! Top art so... Random! Miss Dow, hurry up! We're leaving! Our name is not Miss Dow! Wow, that was a long cutscene. Wow, Jesus. And here's this screw. Or screw loose, rather. Here's how to build up Spinky Scale. 1. Choose Bounce, a command that only appears when you're on the belt. Keep fighting on the belt, and Pinky will reappear. She'll have learned the... Attacks of the monsters you were fighting when she left and returned. Wee! Wee! 4. Choose the command random, and you can use any of the attacks she's learned. And now, please continue your quest. Thank you, Screw Loose. Yeah, just a little bit of a... Good old old school RPG humor. Okay, let's finish up this scenario. That was ridiculous. If we're really desperate, we can actually leave with Pinky right away, but uh, we're not going to do that now, are we? I guess I'll check uh, Pinky's uh, skills right now and equipment. Wow, that's all she has? Sheesh. Alright, helmet and gear. And we want to give her a griffin, but we can't. We don't have any spare shields. Hmm. Well, we're gonna we give her Lulu's shield when we're done. Uh, what else? Relic. Fireball and night sword, I guess. Oh, got to check skills. She has random, and currently she has a brawler, whisper, uh, were rat, ranator, and timberwolf, and a hornet. Trilobiter and ex Exocyte and Combat Mech. Is that it? Wow, there are a lot of monsters. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Quite a lot, to be honest. Go. Okay. So this was a pa this uh Lulu segment is a lot longer than uh, I expected because I thought I was uh, going to be able to do her Lulu segment in one video, but no, it took a, an entire two. Talk about crazy. And we want to go in the cave right here. By the way, uh, as I said before, we can have Pinky bounce at any time we want right now, but if we do it before doing the, the event that we're supposed to do, a uh, we're going to be stuck here until we get her back. Here's the thing though. Because uh, Pinky leaves the party when she uh, bounces out of there, there's actually a, a very terrible exploit you can use uh, back uh, after a certain story point. Where you can pretty much uh, scramble yourself out of completely out of party members and no one will be able to do anything and you won't be able to control anyone. It's crazy. Anyway, more cutscenes. Might this be the rock farm? Uh, Pinkie Pie, is this where y'all live? No, silly, this is just an old cave. Now, where did I put that present? We shall help thee search. Well, okay then. I'm going in here. There is an optional scene we can use right here. Tonic. That's what all the fuss is about? A tonic? Uh-uh. Wait, tonic? Really? Where's the tonic? Hmm. I'm guessing uh, the dude forgot to translate it. It must be a Red Delicious now. Or maybe we didn't get anything at all. Anyway, one more scene right here. Piggy, is something there? 
Really, Pinky? Surprise! Our pouch! There were 500 bits in it! We are not amused! That wasn't very nice, Pinky. Say you're sorry. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't think any of the this stuff uh, actually changes our changes the gameplay. They're just uh, little optional scenes in case you're exploring around, which is a good thing. Here we go. Is this it, Pinky's present? Yes, indeedy. Looks fancy, all right. Quite an odd device. We think we understand. The headpiece holds a pocket of air. Let us go. I, I have no idea how this scene works. It's exactly like that in the Final Fantasy VI vanilla, by the way. Mighty powerful current. It is indeed. But our training shall see us through this trial, as it has all others before. Okay, Pinky, we're going in. Yeehaw! Empty text box. Okay, yeah, this this really doesn't make much sense because we only have one helmet. I guess they share it or something. My goodness, you two. Let us go. Come on, Pinky. Okay, this is the segment where we can actually choose where to go in real time. But there are random battles everywhere. Also, this is Mode 7. Uh, a lot of uh, Super Nintendo games used it back in that era. Because it was the end thing to, for this uh, system. Lulu doesn't have a lot of HP. It's sort of like a... Mode 7 is sort of like a the, the, the Nintendo 3DS's 3D. I suppose. Maybe, maybe Mode 7 is a lot better, but uh, it felt a lot very gimmicky in lots of games. Uh, there's a secret cave we can find if uh, we go a certain way. I think we have to go right here. Maybe it was left, I'm not sure. There's a secret cave where you can get like a, some treasure chests. And I think that... Uh, Anglerfish can cost cast the bolt too. That would be very bad. Thankfully, he didn't cast it. If it could, Lulu gained a level. Lulu can't you can't uh, cast any spells. That's kind of weird. Yeah, it's the secret cave. One of them, anyway. Got a Granny Smith. What is a Granny Smith, anyway? I got it before, but. Covers HP to 100%. That's... Yeah, I probably should use that instead of Elixirs. Moving forward! Whoa, that was a weird spin. Let's go left. Ambush these creatures. Wow, that was easy. Uh, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of weird for some people who haven't played a, or even were even born in the Super Nintendo era to see a, a segment like this where you have no control whatsoever and you're just watching like half the screen uh, move it around randomly and you're wondering what exactly is happening. But what am I saying? It was it was exactly the same way for us uh, back in that era because uh, you're wondering what exactly is happening. Like, are you traveling? Is this underwater? Like, it makes a whole lot more sense now because I I can see where we're going. But before this, uh, it was just crazy. And anyway, just a bit more to go. We have to just walk all the way to Nash now. I'm up here. South Canterlot Bound Ferry. Still need to shop. Yeah, I think we're in a completely new town, actually. Yeah, we can... Uh, I guess I'll check out some more stuff here. Oh, 
anyone can reach within town unless they have a ship. Yeah, tell me about it. Who do you think you're speaking to, buddy? What's here? You met an odd stallion. Lives near the Leather River? You he used to own a rock farm some years ago. You can't even talk to him now. Seems old age because mine. Wonder what happened to his kids. More foreshadowing for a certain character that joined us. Yoo-hoo! Hey, pretty feely! How about joining me? <laughs> really? Now listen here, Missy. My barn door don't swing that way. Jeez, don't blow an artery, baby. Baby? AJ, she knows not to whom she speaks. I'm not like that. We know to art a mayor of great honor and discretion. Let, let not this whimsical last stray thy mind. Stop whispering. My ears are burning, baby. Hold it right there, Missy. I ain't a looking. I ain't a looking for that kind of company. So you best be on your way. Goodness. Yeah, that's just an optional scene. It makes uh, it makes more sense in context when uh, you're, you, you have uh, guys in your team, but apparently uh, it took too much effort to change it completely, to, or just to change it to a guy, so... Well, I guess I should try to talk to her again. Okay, I'm gonna end this video right here. Well, not, not right here, but I'm gonna go right to Nate right now. Up aboard! Nacious, Nacious, just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Sister, we hope thy journey was easier than ours. Oh, <laughs> you have no idea, Lulu. You have no idea. I sure hope so. It's a dangerous world we live in now. Hey, what about that training of yours? I seem to pick up on it a mite quicker than I do. Mind giving me a few pointers while we're sa sailing? Master Graming's teachings. Yes, we will share them with you, Applejack. We trust you have the honor to use them wisely. I guess this explains why she has a uh, Antatsu. Antatsu, rather. More friends? I can't wait to meet every pony. The three have reached Nash, and a decisive battle is about to take place. Yeah, and I'm gonna end this right here. Oh, goodness gracious. That was a long uh, video that I had to do. I. I Lulu's segment is so much longer than I remember. Sheesh. It's probably because of all the cutscenes and all of the voice acting I have to do in them. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a very nice day. Next time, apparently a certain decisive battle is about to take place. Maybe with a certain master of chaos?